Good morning, everyone. This is Glenn Nowak. We're going to go through the Enterprise IQ Outsource Central module today. What I'll do is I'll start with a PowerPoint. Um, it helps me remember everything I, I'm supposed to say. And then I'll go through the software and kind of poke around in it a little bit. And then at the end, I'll take it off presentation mode and we'll have questions. So the, it's, the Outsource Central module is just another module within the single database system. So what it's designed to do is to create and track outsource operations from one place within Enterprise IQ. So it provides tools to plan, manage, ship, and track the status of products produced at out vendor, outside vendor locations. And the goal of it is to help you gain greater control over your supply chain. Um, we use an, the Outsource Central Setup Wizard, and I'll go through the Setup Wizard today. But what you're doing is you're taking your vendors and you're creating ship to locations and linking them to bombs and inventory items. So then what we'll do is we'll automatically create ship orders for the products you need to send. So that allows you to track the status of, of your products that you sent to your vendors. So you get the ship orders. You'll see inventory in transit locations. So there's a different color in the locations in transaction screen and it tells you it's in transit and it'll tell you what vendor it's at. Um, you'll be able to post rejects against a transaction at the, the vendor location and then those things will all get posted to the translog. So we'll go through all that today. The flow of items in Outsource Central can be handled using standard functionality for pick tickets, packing slips, purchase orders, and purchase order receipts. I'll go through all that today. So the ship order is a sales order that's titled the ship order and you can use pick tickets to actually go ahead and do the shipping or just do packing slips and then we'll go through purchase orders and receipts. You also have the option to automate receiving and shipping so if you have drop shipments between vendors so you sh send it out to vendor A they do an operation to it and then they drop ship it to vendor B you don't receive it back or anything like that there's capability to update those and move those along in the supply chain or in your production chain by doing drop shipments. Okay. Uh, you can also use EDI to facilitate that, so vendor purchase orders and receipts using pending ASN and e-server. So those would automatically update the system based on the fact that your vendor shipped it to another vendor or drop shipped it to the end customer. So we can do that via EDI. There's also new in 2012 and uh, what this software version I have today for the, the demonstration is 2012. There's also an inventory based Outsource Central. So the concept here is that you'll be able to ship anything to an outsource supplier. So it doesn't necessarily need to be demand driven. It's just any time I produce this item it automatically gets shipped to the supplier who does plating to it or whatever the outsource operation is. Okay, So that's a new change in 2012. It used to be all demand based with firm work orders and everything like that. But there's a new change. 